Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's video is packed full of fall homemaking motivation. I have lots of cleaning motivation in here. Of course, I have another fall dessert recipe I wanna share with y'all. And then we're gonna get in to the decorating and we have a lot to do today. So let's just get on into it. So to set that fall mood in the house, let's get some cinnamon sugar pumpkin mini muffins in the oven. So into a medium bowl, we're just gonna add some flour, baking powder, salt, and pumpkin pie spice. We're just gonna whisk that all together. Of course, I'll have this recipe typed out below for you. Then to a large bowl, we're just gonna add some canola oil, brown sugar, vanilla extract, we're gonna add a little bit of sour cream, and don't worry, you can't taste it, but it makes the most moist muffins. And we're gonna add some milk and about a cup of pumpkin puree. We're gonna mix that all together. After I got everything mixed together, I just have a 24 count mini muffin tin that I sprayed with some cooking spray, and I'm gonna fill those up. It's super easy to use a miniature ice cream scoop for this, and these are gonna bake in an oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. Your toothpick won't come out completely clean just because, like I said, they are very moist muffins. You can tell they're done when the bottoms kind of don't stick to the pan and come right out. So while our mini muffins are baking, I'm gonna add some butter to a bowl and then also some cinnamon and sugar to another. I'm gonna melt the butter and then when they come out of the oven, I let them cool for just a couple minutes and we're gonna dunk those into that butter and then the cinnamon sugar. How good does that sound? So as you can see right there, I was just checking them. You can kind of see how it popped up out of the muffin tin. And then you just dunk them in the butter, dunk them in the cinnamon sugar, and they're so good. You can do the whole thing, or I just started doing the tops because I thought that's a lot of cinnamon sugar on there. But these are so easy and so good. The perfect afternoon snack for kiddos or afternoon snack with a cup of coffee. Super delicious combo. All right, so now it's time to get to cleaning. As you can see, my dining room was a pretty good hot mess, and this is the area that I wanna decorate today, so obviously I need to get that cleaned up. This has kind of been a drop zone for us. It's right near our back door, as well as kind of where I was planning out a lot of my decor, so I had lots of random things kind of sitting everywhere. So first, let's just get this all tidied up. I'm just gonna take all of the things that are my kiddos kind of everywhere in the house and put those on the steps. That way when they get home, they can take those and put them away. So most of y'all probably know that I always have some laundry going, so I just needed to go get the girls' clothes out of the dryer and go ahead and fold those really quick. But while I'm doing that, if you are new and it's your first time stopping by my channel, first I wanna say welcome. I'm so glad that you clicked on this video. My name is Jennifer or Jen. People call me both, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, I am a wife, a homemaker. I have two kids and pretty much on my channel is all about homemaking. I love to do a little bit of cleaning. I love to decorate, share recipes. So if you love any of those things, 
I mean, those things, I'm not even editing this, y'all. <laughs> I'm kind of crazy. I'm a little bit awkward. If you love that, hit that subscribe button. Tell me what to do When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you Close to you So a lot of the time if the girls are at home, I'll have them help me by folding their own clothes or definitely putting them away themselves. But since they were at school, I really didn't want all their clothes just sitting in the hamper all day getting all wrinkly. So I'm just folding their clothes. I'm going to take those upstairs, put them on their dressers, and let them put them away when they get home. But the ones that needed to be hung, I just went ahead and did that for them. As I was coming back down the stairs, I noticed that our front door, our storm door, was really, really dirty on the inside. So I went and got my glass cleaner. I'm just going to get that cleaned really quick. Let me know if y'all get sidetracked when you clean. I feel like if I don't have a specific list, it will take me all day because when I clean one thing, I see something else that needs to be cleaned. And that just leads to another thing and another thing. And before I know it, I'm not even really working towards the goal that I was working towards in the beginning. So let me know if anybody else does that. So on this day, I had to run and pick up the girls from school, and I promised them that we would bake some of these pumpkin cookies when they got home. So I'm just going to throw these in the oven really quick, and then we're going to get started decorating. Let me know if you love these pumpkin or any character or shape for that matter, sugar cookies. We love these, and I swear we love the pumpkin ones the best. They all taste the same, but it feels like fall when we pull out the pumpkin sugar cookies. So I love this table that we found at Home Goods a couple years ago. And since we haven't really done our dining room yet, we haven't painted or anything like that, I really didn't know what I wanted to hang on this wall above it. So I'm just gonna prop up this kind of wrought iron clock. It came from at home. And instead of hanging it on the wall, it does have a little spot to hang, but it actually is on there crooked. So it hangs crooked and you can definitely tell since it has the, you know, straight lines going through it. So for now, I'm just going to prop it up against that wall. I do like that it has the black and it pulls from the black cabinets. Next, I have this little tray I set over on the side. 
I like using trays to kind of hold everything in together. It makes it feel less cluttered to me. So then I'm gonna use this little milk crate that came from Walmart. Also these little wheat bushes, that's what they're called. Also from Walmart, just gonna kind of fluff those out a little bit. And then I thought this little vignette needed a little bit of color. So I'm gonna add in a little orange uh, kind of cake stand or cupcake stand and put a little white pumpkin on top. And I think it is so simple and cute. Over on the other side of this table, first I'm just gonna add this basket and a big old bunch of this leaf garland, but I'm gonna leave some hanging out just for some color and texture. And then I'm gonna stack just a couple white pumpkins on top of there. And next I'm gonna take a couple little picks that I also got from Hobby Lobby. Just kinda stick those in, kinda make them drape out a little bit. Like this is just a big old bushel of fall foliage sitting in here in my dining room. So now we're gonna work on decorating my hutch and we're just gonna work from top to bottom. So first I have this little basket that I'm gonna place on top with some of these little floral stems that I got from Hobby Lobby. They also have an orange color that's really pretty and I love these because you can kind of sculpt them however you want them and they're just kind of wispy and I just think it makes a really good statement. So as for the top of the hutch, I'm just gonna have this and this little lamp up here. And as you'll see in a minute, there is a lot going on in my dining room. So as for the hutch itself, I kept it pretty simple. I actually brought my canisters from the kitchen in here. I just think that that copper color pops way more on white than it does in my dark, for now, kitchen. So I brought those in here, added some of my white plates, a few little pumpkins, the little copper mugs, and just a couple other accents that I think make this hutch look super festive and cozy. So for my table this year, I decided to lay this beautiful kind of velvety table runner down and just add a bunch of different random pretty things. So I had this little candle that I found at an antique store last year and I hated that orange candle, but I remembered I had these from Christmas last year that are battery operated. So I figured out a way to just add that in there and I'm just adding some pumpkins. I added a candle in that lantern and then I had another little pumpkin that I added a faux tea light to, added some floral picks in here, and I just think it looks so pretty at night. That mercury pumpkin also lights up, and so it's just full of little lights and flickering lights, and it's just the most cozy little centerpiece. Is 
an overview of the dining room and how everything turned out. I love it. It looks super cozy and festive for the fall season. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to try those pumpkin muffins. You're going to love them. Let me know if you enjoyed this video down in the comments below. We still have lots more fall decorating to come and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.